What's up everyone, Rob from Ichimoto. Today I'm here with our product engineer, Dan, and we're gonna take an in-depth look at the making of our 2016 Plus Focus RS oil cooler. The oil cooler design for the Focus RS uh, had to take a little bit of different route than what we would normally do. We had a swimmer uh, grill opening, uh, but something that was nice and wide so we can get a lot of nice surface area. So we designed a new bar and plate oil cooler. We didn't really have a whole lot of room, so we took a factory plastic panel off the car uh, that's used as a duct to the radiator and uh, made it out of aluminum uh, to give us mounting points to hang the oil cooler. With that, we were also able to integrate a small air duct to allow for cooler air temperatures going into the air box. We're already having customers out there, uh, not only requesting it, but that are having problems out on the track overheating. Uh, in fact, when we did some stock testing, uh, within 10 laps, we were already seeing temperatures over 270 degrees. We found that uh, there's actually no physical sensor measuring the oil temperature in the car. How does the car figure out what temp the oil is on the little IMU console in the center on the dash? That oil temp gauge is a calculation built into the uh, vehicle's factory computer. So it's taking a look at ambient air temperature, uh, intake air temperature, charge air temperature, and coolant temperature, and it's sort of calculating what the oil should be based on you know it knowing that there's a liquid to liquid, meaning coolant to oil, cooler that's at the oil pedestal. So when we put our oil cooler on, the vehicle's computer has no idea, which is why it still registers high. Even though when we put our sensors in line, both before and after the oil cooler, uh, we were seeing upwards of 50 degrees below what the gauge in the center console is saying. So for each test, uh, once we would get the uh, configuration that we wanted to test uh, installed on the car, uh, we would start the car up, let it run for about 30 minutes at idle. From there, we would run it out on the track for 10 to 15 laps, bring it in, and then let it cool down for about 30 minutes, put the next configuration on, and then repeat from step one. We were actually on the track you know, I knew we were getting 230, 240 degrees on the inlet of the cooler. However, our driver is reporting back to us saying, hey, the gauge is, you know, nearing 270, 280 degrees. That's really where we started finding that there was a disconnect between uh, what the computer is seeing and what it's, what it's telling you and what it's actually seeing with our kit installed. Definitely a car that needs a direct fit oil cooler kit. As you can see, Dan put a lot of work into engineering this oil cooler. In addition to road testing, he also rigorously tested the system on multiple track days to make sure it performed flawlessly. If you're interested in learning more about the system or checking out the raw data for yourself, head over to our engineering blog on Mishimoto.com and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all of our new projects.